Okay, next up on integrating your revised core set into your old existing Shadow Vic Brimstone stuff, um, we're going to look at the rest of the sort of card and paperwork. Last time we looked at just the cards, the pure you know card bricks, um, because they really are the most important bit. They're 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 what drives the game, shows you where the grave's going, and operates the engines behind the game. So they're, they're kind of the most important. They're also the ones where there's um, room for the most sort of. Uh, confusion, uh, uh, but also room for the, for where the most sort of mod mod ability is in, in you know, and choosing those and sorting your decks out. Uh, I'm not going to say I've got the one true way. This is just you know a, a baseline that feel free to play with as you like. But yeah, all of the rest of the card stuff that you get in the um, revised core sets. So first off gonna have a look at the hero cards so here you go there's four there which I just took out of uh, Swamps of Death and there's four here which I take out of the Ancients these are the basic starting abilities and starting stats of your uh, eight character classes that you get to start with if you've got an old set they will be in here as well this, however, as you can see, is not just those eight. This is also Fiddle Fortress ones at the back there, and I've also got some of the additional character classes. So, much like we've done elsewhere, what you need to do, just very quickly go through and take out the ones that are the uh, appropriate. So, Saloon Girl, Gunslinger, Rancher, Preacher slash Nun, Lawman, Indian Scout, U.S. Marshal, Bandido, I think that's it, I think that's eight, it should be eight, let's check, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, these, now, no need for them, they've been outdated, they've been superseded by the eight that is in here, not all of them changed, but yeah, these updated, superseded by those, so those, go to wherever else you're putting your, your no longer needed cards, Put them all the way over there for now for me. And then these go back in there for your new sort of character selection options. That was easy enough. Again, we're going to do something similar. These are the enemy cards out of Shadows of Death. These are the enemy cards out of Swamps of Death, even not Shadows of Death, Swamps of Death, out of the City of the Ancients. Uh, and they are going to be integrated into here which are all the other enemy cards I've got. Um, as you can see, there's a whole lot because I've got quite a few of the enemies. Um, now, I'm not going to do this right in front of you because I, well, particularly what I've done, in case you may have noticed on the start, is Ancient Horror, that begins with an A. Uh, and what's the end is the Z4 Grenadier from Chidara, which begins with a Z. So mine are alphabetical in here, um, which I'm not going to go through now, but if I find the first one alphabetically, which might be... Corpse pile, yeah, there you go. Corpse pile, so find the corpse pile. There you go, corpse pile. Take this one out, put this one in, it goes. There you go. Uh, I'm not even sure there's any change to the corpse pile, but, but you're now using the most recent print. You're now using the, any, any erratas, whatever have happened, are now in this as your proper enemies. Um, and you don't want to use that as that's the, the old one, so that goes to that pile of old ones over there. Um, I will go through and do the rest when you're not watching because it's tedious and not something you really need to do. But know that, that's what, know that that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all these new ones, put them in there, and take the old ones out, and put them over there for the, with, with the, the cast offs. So there you go, that, that, those are that. Uh, there is then replicated in both the town and injury slash madness uh, cards like that. They're, they're ab these two are identical. What's in the Swamps of Death and what's in the uh, City of the Ancients, they are the same. Um, I do not believe that they are exactly the same as what was in the old ones. There's a couple, I think there's been a couple of changes. So again, we're just going to take a, a very simple high level uh, response to this. Bear with me one moment. I take out, here we go, my folder. And I go to where all the town stuff is, right at the front. 
some of this has got stuff from the um, town expansion so I'm going to have to be a bit careful because all the stuff from the town expansion I want to keep like that but again we're just going to go through like there's a saloon there's a saloon in there I'll take that out Frontier Outpost, Frontier Outpost Church Church another copy of the saloon General store uh, no, that one stays in that one stays in General store it's worth having two copies which is why I'm going to put them both in um, because obviously when a, uh, a bunch of you are around the table two of you might want to go to the same location so it's worth having two copies of them all if you've got them just so we'll give to two people at the same time there we go right one, two, six yeah so those all come out and again to the pile of un unused and unwanted these all come in the only thing oh best thing i best do is find there we go the injury and madness take those out because they're not town related um so there we go we're also going to take out these two the new depth events because whilst they've got the town if you look they've got the town on one side this is superseded if you have by the um the, the town adventures box set even the revised one is superseded by the town adventures box set so you don't need that town map what you will need is that side the depth charts so because they, 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 they've got the tiger plateau ones there as well as the mine or the mine and the swamps of Gigano. so but yeah otherwise all those new town cards um, go with the old ones that are being retained from the town expansion go back in the binder for use when that is and then equally I'll just quickly go through this binder get to madness charts and so there's the uh, old ones, I'm missing an injury chart where's my injury chart? Huh. no no because I've got three of course I've got, got three because they're both sided they're double sided no. and I've got one from um, one there from Food and Fortress but yeah the old ones then go away new injury and madness they go in And then the next one is my depth events, where I keep all the depth events. So the old two depth events, those two, they come out over there. The new two go in. Like that. There you go. So that's all the big cards done in my binder of big cards. Next up, rule books. So, um, from your old set you'll have effectively four rule books um, you'll have two identical like that two of the old rule books and then you'll have the city of the ancients and swamps of Jagano. they are all now superseded so they can all go away um, i'm not going to get rid of mine because mr horsley one of the artists for shadows of very kind enough to um, sign them if you live in the UK. He is resident in the north of the UK. He's often around uh, conventions and so forth. So I'm getting your book signed by Mr. Horsley, who does the box art and some of the other illustrations. Not too hard to achieve. Um, but yeah, they go away, not to be used for the for actual game rules anymore. And then these come out uh, as your new rule book. That one and that one, much the same, but you can't, you know. There you go, rule books again. Much like if you have two of them, you can just give them to um, you can just give them to, to players if they if they need to look at the rules for anything. If you've got two, so there you go. That's new rule books. And about the only last thing is dice. There you go. Uh, if like me, you have um, Forbidden Fortress as well, uh, you will have forty-eight dice, six-sided dice. Uh, if you don't have the Fortress, you'll have 32. 
uh, you're about to get another 32 buys here. Do I absolutely need 80 six-sided dice? Perhaps not. But, as many of you may be aware, there's a very peculiar gravity that occurs with dice once you get into gaming groups. Um, I think even the person who is most afflicted by D6 gravity uh, is going to struggle to have all 80 dice accumulate around them. So I, I am going to put them in the big bag that they will come in. More relevant is the extra pearl dice and extra D8s. Um, it's rare that you need that many D8s. But it's not unheard of for very special effects and special abilities and so on to require a fair number of peril dice. And you can't get a peril dice anywhere else. They're only available from Flying Frog. Um, or I suppose you could just, you know, you know, roll D6s and just alter the sides you know, to suit. But if you've got the proper dice, you may as well use it. So they're definitely worth having. So I've now got five peril dice and then five D8s for the game. Uh, the red one being from Big Fortress. Um, so there you go, that's the rule books, the uh, dice, the, the various different cards. What I'm now going to talk about is tokens. Um, so here are the various different pieces of card. Um, now, as I mentioned in the last one, I am going to use the map tiles because I'm going to uh, effectively just pad out my map deck, which means I will also need the tiles that are now in the deck. So those I will need. There's then, so I want to like these numbered crates. Do I need these numbered crates? No, I've already got a copy. So you can either use the new ones or you could use the old ones. Makes no difference. Um, in many ways, these this, this die cut sheet is pretty much exactly the same as the original die cut sheet. I can't, I have yet to spot a difference. So for me, um, yes, I will pop out the map tiles. Um, I will not pop out some of these extras like these crates. Um, I will pop out the Void Venom because you don't get that many of them, so they're useful. I won't pop out these Gunslinger bullets because Gunslinger already has enough of each of these bullets. Um, and if, you, you basically, if you're popping them out, you're just basically padding the, the Gunslinger's bullets with them that they're never going to be able to use anyway, so, so they're not needed. Um, we've got, so we've got more map tiles, more void venom. Um, the, some of these, uh, the, these you know, random tokens, they are the same as was in the old, and they don't act, and there's only a few circumstances where you ever need them. So the old one is, is probably just going to do you fine. Same again here, we have map tiles that I will use. Randomizing tokens, um, mine tend to get a bit battered over time, so you might need to uh, use those. I tend to not use them anymore. I just roll the dice. Uh, these things like the journal pages, explosives, same as last time. You don't need them. Uh, and then we've got some, basically we've got side, side bag tokens. Uh, depending on the state of your game, you may want to pop out the side bag tokens. Personally, if I just bring this over here, you will see this is the, so this is why, where I keep mine in. I have more than enough bandages. I do not need any more bandages. More bandages than anyone, anyone needs there. Um, and the same for the whiskey and the dynamite and the herbs and tonics and whatever. I've got more than enough when you when you can when I, from the two previous sets and for Bidden Fortress and the various other things that have given me them. Don't need any more of those. Don't need the corpse markers, don't need the barrels. Um, so there we go, and there's the next one. Don't need the side tokens, don't need the corpses, don't need the barrels. Elite abilities, again, you should have loads from your first set. You don't really need this new set. I don't really have There we go. Whatever like that. Um, much the same. Do I need more grit? Do I need more Darkstone? Do I need more corruption? No, I don't. No, I really don't. Um, I've got loads. Do I need a new depth track? No, I've just bought the plastic one. Don't need that. Uh, do I need a new set of encounter tokens? Mm, no, they are the same. So they are the same, um, sort of same sort of 12 there. So we don't need a new version of those. So again, not going to bother with most of that. Uh, that this, this one here uh, is almost entirely wasted. And one thing that's on this, this is interesting, is a specimen jars. That didn't used to be there. They're actually quite useful because if you have, if you 
Um, they are in the town adventures, uh, and I think the, the, the frontier dot character class also gets it. Um, and the specimen jars are either empty or full, and then you can sell them in town. Oh no, it's, it's from the dock's office, isn't it? It is from the dock's office, not the town adventures, it is dock's office. So again, those are useful because they are, they're kind of new, they weren't there last time round. Um, so good to use those, they're useful. Same for these brimstone ash, that wasn't in the last one. Um, again, that's something you can get from town. Same with the harmonica and the perfume. These are all things you can get from town. Um, worth having. Worth having to um, use that way. Uh, same for the Darkstone Shivs. Darkstone Shivs over here. They weren't available. They weren't even relevant in the last version. So they're worth having. But most of this, like all these wounds, all this sanity, all these side pack tokens I've already got, not going to bother with. And that's the City of the Ancients. Similar again. For this uh, map tiles, yes. Other bits and bobs, no. Already got copies. Um, poison, got loads of poison. Faith, don't need faith. Already got faith. Don't even use the faith. Corpse piles, I've already got corpse piles. Um, so here we got swamp fungus. Swamp, swamp fungus. What you have got, which is new, is these tokens. They, I think they're a different version of the preacher's abilities. So they might be worth worth having. I don't recall seeing them or using them. Maybe I just don't use them, but I don't recall seeing them. So they're worth having. Again, map tiles, yes. Everything else, not so bothered. Um, go, map tiles, yes. Everything else, not so bothered. Uh, I think Hellfire is new. So I might take those out. So I will take those out because they are new. Uh, there we go. Same again, map tiles, Hellfire, nothing else. Map tiles. Scroll of protection again. Take those. They are from town. They're useful. Okay. Once again, map tile. Yeah. I mean, do I really need another entrance? Well, perhaps not. It's not going to come up that many times. But most of the rest of this stuff already got. Not too bothered. Uh, and there we go. Specimen jars again. Shivs again. Uh, ash. Those would be useful. Most of this, though, you've already got. You don't need. Um, can I just correct that this? Have I just seen something? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I thought I saw that first time. That's new. There's now randomization tokens for both genders. Before it was only one gender. So if that is uh, important to you, you can do that. But I say I don't even use the randomization tokens anymore. So, yeah, the brief summary of that is most of this I'm not even going to touch. So the map bits. I'll take out uh, things like the Darkstone, Shivs, and Brimstone Ash. I will take out the town things they've put in, like the specimen jars, harmonicas, perfume, um, and the protection scrolls. Those I will take out. But the majority is just going to stay like that because I've already got loads of wounds. I've already got loads of side bag tokens. Don't need, don't need them out of there. Um, it's not like they're, they're different or change in any way. Um, so there you go, that's the next stage of integration. I think the only bit of integration left to talk about um, is the models themselves. And I'm not going to do a video on that because it, it's you know it's quite simple. <laughs> um, you now have twice as many models of each of the kinds than the game was originally designed for. Does this create any problems? Not really, no. Um, the There are rules for if you have to place on the map more enemies than you have, but they're very much designed, uh, that is the fallback option, that's not the desired option, the desired option is that you have enough models to place on the board for all the all those that are required by the cards. And you probably are now gonna have that, because you're now gonna have twice as many. Um, one thing I would say about all your additional models is consider the different variants of them. Uh, I think something like the Hellbats are possibly the best version of it, way to describe this. Hellbats, yes, there are Hellbats. There, 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 there's the fret card for the Hellbats in the um, uh, low, medium, high, and probably somewhere maybe in the, in the um, uh, I forgot what I was going, top tier, what are the top tier? Epic, there you go, Epic. They're in there somewhere as Hellbats. But if you look in the Jagano deck that you got in the Swamps of Death, there are bog bats 
which are a different variant of Hellbound. They use the same model, but slightly different snap block. They modify the snap block, and they look different in the art. So you might want to do some of your Hellbats as Hellbats, but now you've got a load of different Hellbats. You might want to get some of those as Bogbats. So you could have six Hellbats, six Bogbats. Um, it's worth also pointing out that in Belly of the Beast, inside from the Fortress, there are Lung Bats, which are yet another variant of Hellbats. And I think there's a variant of Hellbats in Tradara. So, you know, there's lots of the variants of these models. You may wish to paint them up differently. But it's not going to impact your game, the fact you've now got twice as many. In fact, it's actually going to make it easier because it means you don't have to use the excess model rules. Um, and the, you know, the new ones tend to be better sculpts anyway, so, so you, you want to use those if you can. That's it on models. Uh, in, the un, in some of the unboxing videos, I'm going to actually show you what the new models look like. But um, in the, for integration purposes, models don't really matter. Most of the stuff in this card diecast card doesn't matter it's it's repeats of what you've already got um, and as I say you've just seen me going through all the paperwork so that's going to be the two integration videos for integrating your revised sets into your core sets the next one I'm going to look at is integrating Forbidden Fortress with Shadows of Brimstone um, and that's going to be the next one up